how to install Malwarebytes free in Windows 10 and run your first scan. The first thing you want to do is open up your browser and navigate to the following URL address, which is https colon slash slash www.malwarebytes.com. Once you're here, you'll be on the Malwarebytes homepage. The next thing you want to do is left click on personal and then you'll have a number of options. On the left hand side, you can see security and antivirus here, Malwarebytes for Windows, Mac, Chromebook. And on the right hand side here, you've got your security and antivirus for mobile, such as Malwarebytes for Android and Malwarebytes for iOS. Of course, this video is for Malwarebytes free on Windows 10. So what I'm going to do now is left click on Malwarebytes for Windows here on the left hand side. Once you've done that, guys, you'll be taken to the Malwarebytes for Windows download page here. As you can see, it gives you a brief description of what Malwarebytes is. Malwarebytes 4, which is the current version of Malwarebytes at the recording of this video, is smarter, faster and lighter than ever before. Go beyond antivirus and stop worrying about online threats. Right here you have the free download button, but before we do that, I'm just going to take you through and give you more background knowledge as to what Malwarebytes is. So as you can see, it says it cleans your PC in just a few minutes, secures your PC, files and privacy 24 seven, protects against online scammers. You also get some background on three features of Malwarebytes. So as you can see on the left hand side here, it says it stops ransomware. Ransomware protection uses proprietary tech to create a powerful defense against malware that locks down your PC and takes your files and photos hostage. Respects your space. Scans now use 50% less CPU resources than before. And with play mode, you can even turn off notifications and updates while you game or watch movies. Makes your security simple. Our all new user interface makes it easier than ever to customize your protection, schedule scans, adjust protection layers, and choose from three scan modes. Malwarebytes 4 comes with the Katana engine, which is a new detection engine which finds more threats in less time with less performance impact than ever before. And finally here, you get a comparison between Malwarebytes 3 and Malwarebytes Premium. As you can see on the free version here, the main feature that you get is that it cleans up an already infected computer. A bonus feature when you download and install Malwarebytes free for the very first time is that you get access to all the premium features for 14 days. So as you can see, premium is on the right hand side column here and on the left hand side is Malwarebytes free. So you can see there's all check marks in all the boxes here for Malwarebytes premium and for Malwarebytes free here, it says expires in 14 days. Now, Remember, after the bonus free trial expires, you'll still be left with Malwarebytes free, where again, you can clean up an already infected computer. I'm just going to quickly go through the premium features which expire after 14 days on your Malwarebytes free. So it says, protects your identity and privacy from hackers, protects your documents, financial files from ransomware, protects you from malicious and fraudulent websites, stops malware that degrades your computer performance, crushes malware attacks that corrupt your programs and suspends malware bytes notifications while you game. All right, guys, that pretty much concludes all the features that you get with malware bytes free and the bonus premium features, which you also get access to for 14 days upon first installing malware bytes free. So I'm going to scroll all the way back to the top here. And now we're going to download malware bytes free for Windows 10 by simply left clicking on free download here to start our download. Once you've left clicked on free download, the Malwarebytes setup installer will immediately be downloaded as it's a very small file. The next thing you wanna do is open up the Malwarebytes setup.exe file here, which has been downloaded at the bottom left-hand corner here. So all I'm going to do is navigate to the bottom left-hand corner here and left click on the arrow and then left click on open. Once you've done that guys, the Malwarebytes installer will then open. So as you can see, the first question it asks you is where are you installing Malwarebytes? The option on the left hand side here is personal computer. The one on the right hand side here is work computer. I'm currently on my personal computer, so I'm just going to left click on personal computer here. The next thing Malwarebytes setup says is welcome to Malwarebytes setup wizard. You have two options. The first option is to install and the last option here is advanced options. I'm going to left click on advanced options here. So when you click on advanced options, you get to choose the file path for your Malwarebytes installation. I'm currently happy with the default option here. I'm also happy that it's going to create a desktop shortcut and I'm happy that the language is in English. If you're not happy with the language, you can always 
is change it here by left clicking on the arrow. Once you're happy, all you need to do is left click on install. Next, you'll have the option to add Malwarebytes browser guard for free. I'm not going to install the browser guard as I only want Malwarebytes free. So all I'm going to do here is left click on skip this. If you want it, you can left click on yes install, but I'm not going to install it. So I'm going to hit skip this. Once you have done that guys, Malwarebytes will begin installing. So I'll be back with you once the installation has been completed. All right guys, as you can see, Malwarebytes has been installed and the Malwarebytes dashboard has opened. As you can see, we have a Malwarebytes premium trial here for Malwarebytes 4 and that will last 14 days. As you can see for me, it says your premium trial has 13 days left. That is because I have previously installed Malwarebytes prior to recording this video. Yours will say 14 days. Once that 14 days has expired, you will lose access to Malwarebytes premium trial and Malwarebytes will revert to Malwarebytes free. So you will lose access to some features, but remember what we went through previously when I showed you a comparison of what you actually get with Malwarebytes free, you'll still be able to scan your computer to see if it has any infections. So I'm just going to minimize my browser here as I no longer need it. And I'm just going to move this here just to see if the desktop shortcut has been generated. And as you can see guys, it has indeed been generated. All right guys, so the next thing we're going to do now is actually scan our computer for malware. To do this, all you simply need to do is navigate to the scanner here and left click on scan to begin scanning your computer. All right guys, I'll be back with you once Malwarebytes has finished scanning my computer for malware. All right guys, Malwarebytes has just completed our scan. As you can see, we have a little threat scan summary here. So the first thing it tells you is the scan time. For me, it was around five minutes. Item scanned 340,000, threats detected zero, PUPs detected zero, PUMs detected zero, detections ignored zero, and detections quarantined zero, which means our system is free from any malware. Now, if you did have some items to quarantine, Malwarebytes will guide you through the process of quarantining infected items, and then you'll be given the option to delete them from your system or to restore them if Malwarebytes has detected them as malware when in fact they are not. So as you can see at the very top, you have a couple of tabs here. The tab after scanner is scan scheduler and reports. You can also view your report here, but all I'm going to do now since there are no infected Infections. I'm just going to left click on done. Furthest to the left hand side here, you can see your detection history and furthest to the right hand side here, you can see your real time protection. As you can see, web protection is on, malware protection is on, ransomware protection is on and exploit protection is also on. At the top right hand corner here, you have a little question mark icon where you can get some help on Malwarebytes, such as Malwarebytes user guide, Malwarebytes support, support tools and Malwarebytes labs. You can also see the frequently asked questions here if you would like. The icon to the left of the question mark is your settings icon. If you left click on that, you can adjust the settings of Malwarebytes here. As you can see, we're currently in general here. You've also got a notification tab, a security tab, a display tab, allow list tab, account, and about page. I'm not going to take you through all the settings. However, you can customize them to your liking if you would like, or you can leave them as they are, and that will be the Malwarebytes default. The next icon at the very top right hand corner here is your notifications icon, where you can see any notifications from Malwarebytes that you may have, which could be important. All right, guys, that pretty much concludes the video on how to install Malwarebytes free in Windows 10 and run your first scan. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Why is it so hard to live?